you have a trying job as a judge. And right now, when you first got on, you mentioned COVID. So mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about self-care. What are you doing to keep yourself grounded in these times of being a judge and the COVID? Ah, so um, before COVID, um, it has always, my way of self-care has always been able to find a means to escape, right? And for that, for me, that's travel, um, that's new food experiences. And before COVID, I always had this idea for me to truly escape, like I had to leave the country. Like I just had to be outside of the United States to like hit the reset button. But obviously during these times, I can't do that. So you know what that has looked like? That has looked like going to the a local mountain and like hiking for a day or making a weekend out of it, you know, visiting local wineries, you know, trying like local restaurants um, that I hadn't tried before. And I know like Greenville is a great place to be, especially given like where it's situated between like Atlanta and Charlotte. But for me, I always felt the need that I had to leave town to truly escape. And so, you know, being in the midst of this pandemic, um, that looks different now. And I'm honestly not upset about the fact that I've had to change what self-care look like and realizing that I don't have to go such a great distance to truly hit the reset button. Yeah, that's that's good. Sometimes mm -hmm. just taking in and, and seeing some of the things that we overlook. Um, right, yeah. yeah. So I say COVID has definitely done that for you, uh -huh. me, and probably many other people where we assumed to, to hit the reset button, we had to go someplace far now and go mm -hmm. to the, the local markets. Supporting mm -hmm. small black businesses. It could be any of those things now. Sometimes some self-care, because we always are at work or we always trying to be busy. Sometimes a little bit of television, uh, so a good meal, <laughs> and mm -hmm. you go, you know? Yeah. You and you know, I, right now, this year, well, in 2020, um, I had to become more intentional about just being you know, even if that looked like me doing absolutely nothing in the moment, you know, that was self-care. Because I think sometimes we get so caught up in, like, to be productive, you have to be engaging in something. And sometimes being productive is actually sitting still and, like, allowing yourself not to be, not waking up to an alarm clock and creating that time where you truly just have time for yourself not doing anything. So 2020 has definitely taught me that. And in doing so... Um, I, in return, became more intentional about my um, physical health as well, you know, which is just as important, if not more important than your mental health. Um, obviously, they do go hand in hand, but, you know, realizing that the things that we consume, such as, you know, food, um, even the things that we expose ourselves to, that ultimately affects our mental health. So we're taking care of ourselves in the physical aspect. I think that provides some relief for your mental health as well. Definitely, definitely. And when you're recharged, you know what I'm saying? You can go back to work and be as productive as you can. Mm -hmm. And that right there is going to help the community even more because you've mm -hmm. got a sound mind and body. 